Hi all you beautiful friends. I was asked to give an update on this, these HCL betaine tablets which you can use if you're lacking a stomach acid. And uh, it's been a while since I made those videos and I started using those tablets. And so I thought I'd just uh, tell you what I've experienced and what I've learnt on my way. So, the whole thing of, of gut healing is a really, really big subject and it can be really daunting for us and it is a multifaceted uh, approach we really need uh, because when you're lacking stomach acid, that's not your only problem. And as I say in this playlist where I, I talk about a stomach acid, you can go to the playlist if you haven't been there. There's many factors that are actually um, that are the cause of you not having enough stomach acid. And one for many of us is simply stress. So that's what often I write to you in this comment section is that uh, not just to take the tablets, but actually start to manage your stress or start to learn to relax. And really, we know from, from Chinese medicine, the, the ancient traditions, to, to be in a relaxed state uh, makes everything better in your body. And of course, when we're stuffing food down, <laughs> and we're always stressed, we don't digest properly. Because the stomach is simply not geared to, to digest our food. So what I did, I started using those betaine tablets and, and the suggestion that, that we are given by the people who really, uh, the doctors who are, are recommending this is to take uh, as many as you, uh, until uh, you feel a reaction. But the thing is, not all people feel a, a very clear reaction. Uh, so you actually really have to experiment with yourself and see how you go. And some of you have written that to always use apple cider vinegar and there are a few people who are saying this. So to use them with apple cider vinegar. Uh, and and so, so yeah, so what I've experienced is I, I, I got up to a whole lot, taking a whole lot and I could see that was not, I did it for a period and um, uh, yeah, it, get, it get, can get very expensive because if you need to take 10 at each meal and you're having 4 or 5 meals a day, it's a lot. And most people can't afford that. Uh, so, so I think w what I do now is that um, I've been using them for a while and I think they have affected my gut. I'm pretty sure they have cleansed because that's what it does. When you have a lot of stomach acid, your gut is, is very is detoxified a lot. So I think if you have any problems, it's a good idea to take them for a period and see how you go. But you have to work on your diet and your uh, the gut health all together at the same time because otherwise you probably won't get many benefits. And I've been healing on many levels at the same time. So I still have the tablets and so what I do is if I have a, a piece of meat I might have them, uh, or if I have a sort of a bigger meal or a more complex meal, like those waffles, sometimes I'll use them. But then I'll just try without and see how I go. And if I sense, well, that's actually working fine, uh, I'll, I'll, I won't use them. So I think they're good to have uh, to try for a period and see how you go, and and to have them. Uh, so, and also if you're going out and you, you're going to eat a lot of food, it's good to, uh, to have them with you. Um, so, what I want to say here is <clears throat> the amazing thing that I've mentioned more and more lately is that people are healing on meat, on a carnivore diet. And what is very interesting is that when you start eating meat, uh, and mainly meat, and just having these mono meals where you just have a piece of meat that you really enjoy and you stop when you're full, uh, when you start doing that and you may be also drinking broth, your, your stomach acid will actually start coming back. So meat actually also heals this problem. So if you're very 
have a very sick gut and you really have a lot of problems, it might be a good idea to, to slowly uh, use more and more um, beef. And see how you go, because it does really change, also it changes the microbiome a lot. So people who are, who are converting to more meat and much less of anything else, maybe eggs and, and some milk products, uh, they find that their, their stomach calms down, really calms down. And, uh, and the whole thing of taking lots of probiotics is really not necessary when you're doing that. So it has a profound effect on the gut when we have more beef. Uh, so if you can't afford uh, these betaine tablets, and you really want to try to do something for your health, maybe that's a better solution. So you simply start having meat and, and really, really relax while you're eating and notice what your body likes. What sort of meat does your body like? And, and cook that and have it, eat slowly, enjoy it. Maybe just have a bit of apple cider vinegar with the meat make sure you have salt it's very important that you have good good sea salt or himalaya salt redmond salt these are very mineral rich salts because they they are very important for a, for a stomach acid and and just eat till you're full chew your food well to see how you feel and you might digest that beautifully and then really what your 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 stomach will start coming into balance and healing itself and instead of buying all these tablets you'll be buying food that's nourishing you and at the same time healing the whole gut <laughs> so uh, if you have if that's if you feel that you really want to do something uh, uh, a, a major change that might be a good idea so uh, yeah so see how you go but um, I think it's very, very fascinating, and, and like everything else, the stomach acid is only a part of the whole picture. So good luck with your healing journey, and uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye.